Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing a Bloomboro uh, set op or a bundle opening uh, tomorrow, hopefully, if it comes on time. I'm always so nervous it's not going to come in time and then I'm not going to have my stuff ready on time. But anyway, they say it'll be on time. Okay, so these are the top five budget picks. My top five um, here actually stuck. I always stick to my $2 budget range. So that's two dollars or less, and I'm using MTG Goldfish this time, just because it's much easier, frankly. And um, I these ones are all really close to the two dollar mark. I usually I do go through and make sure that I really like the ones that um, are around two dollars and under. And this time, it, I actually think I kept right to the like the top five that were like two dollars, and then down from there, I kept it right on because I thought that they were actually really solid. So yeah, um, I wouldn't make any major changes anyway. Okay, Artist Talent, 182. So this is a class enchantment. Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Nice uh, discard draw, pretty standard red card draw type of mechanic. Again, this is one or red, sorry I should have said. And then you can level it up to level two for two and a red. Remember, leveling up is only at sorcery speed. You cannot activate this during other people's turns. Okay? Um, Non-creature spells do cast cost one less to cast. Okay, that cost reduction is huge. Especially, like, you start stacking these abilities. Um, I'm, right now, I've got a just guy... Uh, Jeskai deck that would love this. I uh, am actually building another Jeskai deck. If I get this, it's going in the new one, that's for sure. Permilicon, I think, is how you say that. Anyway, level three, if a source you control would deal non-combat damage to an opponent or a per permanent, uh, an opponent controls, it deals that much plus two instead. So damage boost to red is amazing. Um, Red has a lot of effects like this, and you just stack them up, right? So you start doing like, in time, you can do one damage to each opponent pretty easily, and you, that becomes like, like three to six damage without a whole lot of extra effort. Um, that is crazy in a multiplayer game. You're looking at just a heap of damage every turn, and that's just for like auto damage, casting your normal spells and stuff like that. Basically playing the game the way you'd play it normally is doing a whole bunch of like extra stuff. Okay, 182. Patchwork Banner. I love this just because like it is, uh, sorry, it is three colorless and this is basically a mana rock that gives a plus one plus one to all of your creatures of one type. Okay, so Kindred decks, right? This I would put straight into my uh, ally kindred, or maybe my chatter thing for the squirrels. But anyway, a mana rock that is uh, that has a buff for kindred is just so good. It's only three to cast, so it's pretty standard mana rock co uh, co uh, b -b cost. Anyway, so yeah, very very good. One eighty four only. Um, if I don't pull this, I'll probably order one or two. I feel like this is something I'll go up in value. Not a whole lot, but it'll be like a $5 card later. All right, Patch Paw Recruit. Okay, this is only one green for a 2-1. It has Offspring, which is a pretty interesting, um, it's not a band, it's an interesting mechanic. All right, so you may pay an additional two as you cast the spell. When you do, it, when or sorry, when it enters, create a 1-1 one, one token copy of it. So it's gonna make a token copy of itself, which is very good. Remember, the token copy has all the other powers as well. So trample, sure, why not? And whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell or an ability an opponent controls, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control other than that creature. So if someone targets any of your creatures with uh, any kind of spell, you get to put a plus one, plus one on any other creature, not the targeted creature. And then, especially with the effects that like Selesnium will use, where it's like, if you put a plus one, plus one counter, put another one and maybe another one. And yeah, it, you'll, they'll end up being like, is it worth it? Especially with Offspring, because this is doubling it. If you also have something that adds a plus one, plus one counter, 
your uh, if they target anything of yours, it's like plus four, plus four to a creature uh, permanently. So do they want to target your creature? Uh, this is better disincentive than I think Pillow Fort. But anyway, 197. Uh, consecrate, consecration mage? No, I'm not saying. Corrucation mage? Uh, coruscation mage. All right, I don't know that word. I feel like I should. I've been teaching English for like 15 years now. I don't know magic gathering words. Anyway, one in red for an otter. Okay, it's an otter, folks. Anyway, it has offspring too, so you can make that token copy again. And whenever you cast, cast a non-creature spell, this creature deals one damage to each opponent. That's what I was talking about right there, remember. So for the offspring, if you cast it for four, you're uh, getting that extra one, and they'll do two every time you cast a non-creature spell. And then you're gonna have other effects that do the same thing and boost red damage, and uh, yeah. Immediately, Torbrand, that's what I'm, I've been trying to remember that dwarf's name, Torbrand. Uh, he gives plus two to, any, uh, to damage to opponents from red sources, so if you have this, and Torbrand, you cast it for the uh, offspring, and then every time you cast a non-creature spell, they each do one damage, and the, each of those instances gets plus two, so they're doing six damage every time you cast a spell. Doing, like, any non-creature spell, they're six damage to each opponent. In, like, a commander game or a multiplayer game where you have three opponents, that's 18 damage per spell where you're just doing something else. Hi, hi, hi. Anyway, 199. Okay. Uh, Mabel, heir to Craig Flame. I just, first of all, love the name, love the art. I love that as a mouse. Everything, I just, I love the set. Does, does anyone get Mice and Mystics vibes from the set? Do you remember Mice and Mystics? It was a board game. Uh, I love that game. I still have it, uh, but yeah, it came out quite a few years ago now, but it's, uh, it's awesome. It's an RPG where you're basically like a D&D &D party that gets transformed into mice. And then you have to like battle your way to humanity, basically. Uh, great one. Oh, so other mice you control get plus one, plus one. Anthem effect, great start, right? And, and whenever and she enters the battlefield, uh, create Craig Flame, a legendary colorless equipment creature, or uh, not creature, artifact, equipment artifact token. It gives plus one, plus one, meh, right? But it also gives Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Equip two only. Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Those are some uh, major combat abilities that you're just getting for uh, like an extra, uh, an equipment that's just thrown in, all right? A token equipment that you can, if you can, you know, if this somehow someone destroys that and you can flick her or give her recursion, then you're just making it again. Uh, if I get this straight into my Boros equipment deck, that's for sure. Um, even though I don't have mice in it. Anyway, two dollars. Okay. All right. So this has been the top five Bloomboro. I managed to not say Bloomberg this time. I'm very proud of myself. I kept saying Bloomberg instead of Bloomboro. Um, Anyway, take it easy.